shot him, shot him. <laughs> oh my god, that was nuts. That is a bad hit. Alright, what is going on guys? Chris here back again with another video for you all today. So as you guys can see, yeah, we are in the US Virgin Islands again. This is the island of St. John. I filmed the fourth episode of Off the Mainland here at this exact same beach last year. Let's see what we can do. That being said, before we start the video guys, about 87% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed. So if you're not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell. Let's get into the action, shall we? Alright, as you guys can see, we're gonna go ahead and uh, knock some fish off the list. We're gonna get something a little bit different, a little more diversity. Oh, something's chasing it. Of is chasing it, chasing it, chasing it. Oh my god, look at them, blue runners, blue runners. There we go. Got him, got him, got him. What do you got here? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. The one fish in the ocean I did not want to catch. Well, there we go, guys. A little sand diver, lizard fish to start the day off. What a beautiful little fish. It's going to get him back pretty fast. These guys don't last long out of the water. Oh, there he goes. Not what I was looking for because I caught like 50 of those things the last time I was here. Uh, but we lost some nice fish earlier. Let's go and see what else we can get. All right, y'all. Our first steps on the flat. Let's go see what we can get. Hopefully not that tree. Oh my god, it's a lemon shark right there. Oh, you guys are not going to believe this. I literally was pitching around this bait and this shark came out of nowhere and smoked it. <laughs> it's nuts. The stupid gopher keeps been having this issue. It's not turning on on, on time, but take a look at that, y'all. Beautiful baby nerf shark, or, sorry, lemon shark came up and grabbed my uh, little uh, twitch bait. Take a look at that, y'all. Beautiful little lemon shark. I'm so annoyed the gopher didn't turn on in time, but... There he goes. There we go, guys. First fish in the flats. Beautiful little nurse shark. Let's go. Let's go see what else we can catch. All right. Sorry, I just hooked up. There we go. Little schoolmaster snapper. Look at that, guys. Beautiful schoolmaster snapper. There we go, there we go, got him. There we go. Pitched it out there, and we, uh, yeah, little mangrove snapper. <sighs> there we go, yeah, a little baby mangrove snapper right there. Beautiful little catch. See you later, bud. All right, there is a shark right next to our bait. He's circling it, he's looking for the smell. Um, I literally pitched it out right in front of us here, so we can go ahead and, uh, Catch him. I saw him playing with it. Right now he's chewing with it. He's got it in his mouth. He's got it in his mouth. I'm just gonna let him eat. I'm gonna let him eat. Pretty sure he just dropped it. There we go. Got him. Got him. <laughs> oh my god, that was nuts. Hopefully this one didn't get gut hooked. I'm pretty sure I got him in the corner of the mouth like the circle was supposed to do. That was so sick. I saw that thing eat like right next to us. Oh my god, let's go. All right, little bud, time to get you back. Sorry, that was a very ungraceful release, but there he goes. What an awesome fish right there. We actually got the hook out nicely, which is great. Let's go and see what else we can get. No way, got him. Nice fish, nice fish. You know, I say that every time, and it's usually not a nice fish. What do we got here? Yeah, something that's uh, not a nice fish. All right, there we go, guys. I don't know what fish this is, but beautiful little mangrove snapper. It's going to get a release on this fish. All right, y'all. Something just took a shark cake. Oh, 
Good fish, good fish. Oh, that's definitely a shark. Nice, guys. I didn't know if this would work. Look at it jumping like that. That's nuts. That is. Oh, he's running towards us. <laughs> Look at that thing. Come over here, bud. You got him. Shark, 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 get away from Okay. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> that run never gets old. <laughs> oh my god. That's not a bad one. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how big it is. It isn't. See, it's not even that. Okay, no, it's definitely a much bigger one right there. Much bigger fish. Okay, get away from me. <laughs> now, see, I knew there was some decent sized ones out here, but this one is, this one's all right. Let's go ahead and uh, show you guys this one right here. Guys, that is just absolutely nuts. That's like a good, I don't know, three footer right there. Awesome, awesome lemon though. All right, there we go, guys. Awesome, beautiful little lemon shark. They just want to cough in the flats too. Awesome fish. He's much calmer than the little ones, as you guys can see, not thrashing around as much. Let's go and get a release on this fish. <laughs> oh, dang. Yeah, yeah, popped off. Hey, look, I still got the bait. Well, well, there we go, guys. It started out as a day that did not seem too promising. and quite well. I caught about five sharks, I think. I uh, lost it for quite a few more. What an awesome chain of events. So, caught the biggest uh, lemon shark I ever caught. A good 20 pounder, I'd say. Awesome fish. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. That being said, really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're not already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. What is going on guys? Chris here back again with a video for you all today. So as you guys can see, take a look at that view. That is just absolutely stunning. Don't mind me, I'm currently balanced right here just to get this really awesome shot for you guys. And hopefully you guys enjoy the sunrise since it's beautiful here. Welcome to the second day on the island. We're gonna be fishing a beach and then hopefully go to the same flat where we caught all the sharks yesterday. Hopefully get some better underwater footage and all that jazz. Let's see what we can do. I am super, super excited. That being said, before we start the video, guys, about 87% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed. So if you're not already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell. Let's get to the video, shall we? All right, as you guys can see, down here at the beach, let's go and see what we can catch. I am pretty excited to see what we can find doing today. I got a little crappie jig on with a 15-pound fluoro meter. Oh, yeah, we just hooked up to something. Oh, look at that beautiful schoolmaster snapper hit the bucktail. That is nuts. Look at that thing right there. Or is that a dog? Look at that right there, guys. Beautiful, beautiful schoolmaster snapper on the bucktail. What an awesome fish. Let's go and get a release on this catch. See you later, bud. There he goes. There we go. That one. That one right there. What do we got here? Oh, what are you? Guys, look, a little grouper. Oh, right, y'all, yeah, well, check out this beautiful, beautiful grouper I just caught. I have no idea what species. Look at the chompers on that thing, though. That is just nuts. Inhaled the, uh, the little crappie jig right there. Awesome catch. Let's go and get a release on this fish. All right, y'all, well, that was awesome. And not believe I just managed to catch that grouper. So far, guys, we have uh, three fish down, which is a good start. There we go, got him, got him, got him, got him. What do we got? What do we have here? Oh, schoolmaster. Beautiful schoolmaster snapper right there. All right, guys. Well, another fish down. Let's go and see uh, what else we can get. There we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> That's another one right there. I don't know what it is. Let's see. Yes, schoolmaster. 
Little master snapper. All right, y'all. Just hooked up again. Let's see what we got. Oh, check that out. We got another grouper. Another grouper. Same species too. I don't know what it is yet, but that's so sick. Look at that thing. Well, there we go, guys. What an awesome, awesome fish that is right there. So gnarly looking too with those teeth. I mean, that's nuts. Oh, that's another little snapper right there. On the bucktail. Guys, you are not going to believe what I just found in the water here. Look at that majestic creature. That is a white spotted eagle ray. You guys can see that right there, right? Look at that thing. I'm sure I could try to catch it if I wanted to, but I really don't. I mean, it's such a beautiful creature. I'm just gonna let it uh, be. Of course, when I say let it be, I mean I'm gonna go behind it and get a whole bunch of really awesome shots for you guys. What is going on guys so really hope you guys enjoyed today's video yeah definitely a little bit of a shorter upload um i did catch quite a few fish at the beach it was a lot of fun basically i fished the beach for the morning put quite a few snapper grouper on the beach it was a lot of fun that new species the grassby grouper was something i um really enjoyed catching because it was such a cool fish and then i also fished the annenberg floss later where we caught the lemon sharks the previous day did not manage to catch anything the second time i went out um but we did see a really cool white spotted eagle ray which uh although in florida they're very common in other places in the caribbean in that particular area they're considered a very very special animal to the local so it was really cool to see one um, just, you know, literally on flat. Stay tuned for the next one because it's going to be a serious banger. We're going offshore. Got a ton of new species. Um, got some amazing footage and fought some monstrous fish. It was awesome. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're not already, make sure to hit the red subscribe button and smash the notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. What is going on guys? Chris here backing up in the video for you all today. So as you guys can see today, we're going offshore. We're gonna see if we can catch. I am pretty excited. Um, honestly, go for today anything. Mahi, tuna, should be awesome. We're gonna get some great shots. I am super excited. That being said, before we start the video guys, about 87% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed. So if you're not already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell. Let's get to the video, shall we? Guys, while we're waiting for the boat, I'm just gonna go ahead and push this around for a little bit. Here's where we'll be able to catch. Okay, so you guys are not gonna believe this. I literally just was pitching out this jerk bait. I had the GoPro off because I didn't think I was gonna get anything. We just got ourselves on a little barracuda. That is so neat. Look at that thing. I gotta get the hook out of him, which is annoying because I don't have any pliers. All right, well, here we go, y'all. Little baby barracuda right there. Awesome little cast. Don't get a release in this fish. All right, guys, we're back with Captain Dawkins. If you guys remember, we off the mainland. We caught some great fish. Uh, first mahi mahi ever on that trip. That was awesome. So, Captain, what are we going to do? We're going to head north. We get one of the very few conditions today where it's actually going to be nice out. Sat down here in the Caribbean, three to five every day. Right. The wind's kind of light down. It's looking good. Mahi mahi are on the table. We're going to be chasing birds. We're going to hit some deer. Uh, the government has some fads up there, just like last year. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
It's gonna be awesome, guys. Let's see what we can do. All right, as you guys can see, unfortunately my GoPro wasn't actually recording here, but first fish of the day, Mahi Mahi on the troll. Uh, yeah, saw some birds feeding, small one, but a Mahi nonetheless. Nice. You want to hold it? Yeah, yeah, I, I can actually hold it. You want to stick here? Yeah. There we go, guys. First fish today. Beautiful mahi mahi. Probably say about uh, six pounds, seven yeah. pounds. Awesome catch. Yeah, this is gonna make uh, for a good dinner tonight. All right. Cool, I guess. Always keep your hand on here. It's good to have the back glass. And remember, brother, it's not uncommon for these to get hit. What's going on? All I gotta do is push up to the back. What about the drag? How do I change the drag? Yeah, yeah. Got it. Hi guys, my dad is showing all the mahi here. Look at the fish spinning in the water. Oh, it's not a mahi. You think it's foul hooked? I think it's foul hooked. What is that? Oh my god. Look at that. Oh, little almago jack. Look at the stupid boat. Oh my god. He snagged an almago jack That is so crazy. Is it, is it an almago jack? Yeah. It is, right? It's a boat. I got this. That is ridiculous. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at those things are kind of, can you eat those? No, but we're gonna, I got a plan for it. Oh, live bait? Yeah. Well, that was certainly a really interesting catch. I saw the line actually go off a little bit when we let the teaser out. Let's go and see what else we can catch. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Sorry. I guess. Those all cut jacks came out of nowhere. Let's watch this. Watch this. About to get on. About to get on. There we go. Yeah. There it is. That was a one second fight. That's how to catch a fish in one second. All right. That's a little Amico Jack right there. It's a new species. That's nuts. I got him, got him. Oh no. Oh, look at them. This underwater footage is actually going to be really cool if I can get it. There he goes. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Get out, get out, get out. <laughs> Let's get this guy off, guys. That's so cool. Look at that little rod. <laughs> Hard time, ain't it? Yeah. That's a nicer one. Oh, they popped off right there. Got him, got him, got him. <laughs> Guys, these fish, I mean, I know they're not really anything crazy, but they are a lot of fun to catch. <laughs> yeah, so guys, we found a little school of Avoco Jack next to this buoy. And they're just kind of fun to catch on the light, light tackle. All right. All right, as you guys can see, we have a little Amoco Jack here. It's a new species. I know it's nothing to brag about, but he put such a nice fight on the ultralight. We're using his live bait later for something big. Well, let's see what we can do. All right, as you guys can see, gave up on the troll because we weren't able to get anything on that. So we're going to do some bottom fishing, see what we can catch. I am pretty excited. Supposedly, a lot of grouper, snapper. Um, never did any of this kind of fishing before in my life. So let's see what we can do. All right, guys. Got him, got him. Got him, got him. Ooh. You got, you got 145 feet. Ooh. This should be fun. Phew. Nice look there, dude. Nice look there. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm forgetting I'm running 30 on this. I'm used to running my Chevy. <laughs> oh. That's pretty heavy. He may have gotten sharked. I don't know. This is the line just got a hell of a lot heavier. Oh, really? Yeah. I, mean, I feel like actually, I don't know. Okay, yeah, this is something much different now. Alright, well. Yeah, that's a shark. Alright, 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 Rob. Oh, I lost it. That was a shark. He really went for it. Oh my god, this thing is so heavy. <laughs> yeah, I that drag out. I mean, I'm running mono, there's no way. Oh, here's the head shakes, here come the head shakes. All right, well, I'm going to get up there. Broke me, broke me off too. Really? Yeah. All right. I felt a pop. All right, y'all, it's bitching dropping a bait down. We just got sharks a second ago, which was not what we wanted to see. Got him, got him, got him. Big All right, remember, we're no longer worried about the tackle. Yeah. Outrun the sharks, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got Gotta outrun the these guy. sharks, guys. Just reel up. I got him. Yellow, yellow tail. 
I think it's nice flag, brother. Nice flag. Nice flag. Let's go. Nice flag. Look at that, guys. What is this called again? Yellowtail snap. Oh, it is yellowtail. That's right. Okay, yellowtail snap. That's beautiful. How big is it, you think? Um, I don't know. He's probably pounding that. And these guys, we call them flag because they're nice. Yeah. Look at that flag. That's so cool. Oh, that's a new species right there, guys. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, we're gonna eat this though. It's gonna taste good. There we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got one. Oh, bring this guy up, y'all. Got another one. Got to get him before he gets shark. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got a grouper. Big red grouper. Strawberry grouper. Nice, strawberry grouper. Got a beautiful strawberry grouper here, redhead grouper. New species. That's pretty awesome. Let's see what else we can catch. Got something. Got something. Oh. Nope. The bail came open. Yep. All right, guys. Let's go bring this fish. Oh yeah, double, hey look at that. Double that, that's why I felt so heavy. Got the Coney Grouper in the bottom. Coney Grouper, all right then. One of the smaller. Another yellowtail. Local call them butterfish. This is an adult. They do get a little bit bigger than this, but not much. There we go guys, got ourselves on a Coney Grouper. Locals call it a butterfish. Butterfish. That is insane, look at that thing. The color that's an adult, not, not the full size. That is nuts. Look at the swim bladder too, it's just, man, pressure. <laughs> yeah, man, you guys are pulling up from like five to six atmospheres. So. That's crazy. All right, let's go ahead and put this in the cooler. Join your brother in. So as y'all can see, those are actually the last fish we managed to land from the bottom fishing itself, mainly because we proceeded to think it's sharked over a dozen times, didn't actually manage to surface any of the sharks we hooked, mainly because we were running mono in those rigs, and obviously mono is not designed for shark teeth. By including each of those 10 minute shark fights here, this really would not be much of a video. So here's a quick compilation of the best moments from the shark fights. Hopefully y'all enjoy. Oh no, that's a shark, that's a shark, that's a shark. We got sharks. Let him take it, he'll get tired in about 10 seconds. That is a dry spirit. And I just lost all the distance I just made. Wonderful. Oh, God. Ooh, no, that, that's also not. That's also not. All right, y'all. Yeah, we just got sharks again. We're gonna I might get spooled, bro. You're welcome. I took one for the team. There we go, y'all. No! Uh, I'm gonna put this down. No longer on. You can't be getting tired, you know what? Because Greg and I are not tired at all. That's true, that's true, you're right. No excuses. Alright, uh, guys, let's just get on another one right here. It looks like something small, whatever it is. Maybe a snapper. Go to. Nice. Dinner. Nice. Oh, you gotta do the shirt. Yeah. You'll be on the door today. Good. Scale them, gut them, and them whole. Yeah. Locals, everybody else, they skin these and they cook them whole. But for most of us, they're just going to fillet it out. Tough skin. Yeah, tough skin. When they call these, of course, chop with the sea. The white meat, a little more firmer, not quite as delicate like a grouper, but it's really, really good. Yeah, now literally everything was costly, guys. It was an awesome experience. If you guys want something like this, Go check out Ocean Safari Charters and Captain Rob here. I think you want an amazing adventure just like this one. It was awesome, guys. Let's go home and get those fish cleaned up. Let's get you. All right, well, what is going on, guys? As you guys can see, we are back here at the villa. And uh, yeah, this is what we're eating right now. We got uh, zucchini, tomato, and then different fish. We have the triggerfish right here. We got a snapper right here. 
We got the grouper right here and we got the mahi right here. And we're gonna test what each one of these tastes like. All right, so first one I'm probably gonna try is gonna be the trigger fish. Uh, I was told that this means a little bit tougher than the rest, which it does appear that way. Cheers. So the trigger fish is definitely pretty tough. Yeah, tastes pretty good though. Let's go in uh, for the snapper. That one is really good. The LTL snapper, I've heard good things about it. It definitely lives up to its reputation. Next up, we got ourselves the mahi. Now this is the same fish I did the cash clean and cook with uh, last year. That one is also very good. It's an awesome fish. And the last one, guys, we're gonna go for the strawberry grouper. That one I heard is supposed to be the best. I've seen the best for last. It actually kind of tastes like a trigger fish, surprisingly. I'm not, it has a similar like kind of almost rubbery texture. It's still amazing. It's crazy, guys. These fish were literally swimming in the ocean, well, like six hours ago, so. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, what is going on, guys? So really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. One thing I do want to mention, the strawberry grouper was actually a little bit undercooked, which is why it actually had that rubbery taste. I think it's actually usually not supposed to have that texture. I think it's supposed to be kind of similar to the snapper usually, but anyway, amazing day on the water, guys. Managed to catch four new species, the Almaco Jack, Colony Grouper, Strawberry Grouper, and the Yellowtail Snapper. And technically, that Barracuda in the morning was the first Cuda I ever landed because that one Cuda that I caught in Florida during the Treasure Coast, I didn't actually manage to land. I just brought it to the base of the pier. This is the first Cuda I actually ever held. If you guys are ever in the same St. Thomas or St. John area, make sure to go check out Ocean Safari Charters with Captain Rob. They do an amazing job both inshore and offshore fishing. And again, guys, many more awesome videos in this series to come. Really excited to get this content out to you guys. That being said, if you have not already, make sure to hit the red subscribe button, smash the notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, what is going on guys? Chris here back again with another video for you all today. So as you guys can see, welcome back to the fifth episode here of the series, which I have yet to name, uh, in the US Virgin Islands. Again, as you guys can see, we're back here on the flat. Now I know the last few videos have been here. Uh, only reason why is because this is one of the only flats on the island where you got tarpon, where you got bonefish, where you got snook, where you got, uh, of course, the lemon sharks, which is what I've been catching the last few videos. We're gonna first go after a couple of lemon sharks just to get some fish on the board. Should be fun. I'm gonna get some great underwater shots for you guys and then, Hopefully, we're gonna target some bonefish. Should be pretty awesome. That being said, before we start the video, guys, about 87% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed. So if you're not already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell. Let's get into the video, shall we? I'm gonna go ahead and pitch out this little bit of shark bait here. We're gonna get one pretty quickly just to get you guys some uh, a little bit of action. Just a little bit of guaranteed action in the video today. It should be fun. Let's go and see what we can get. Oh, now it's a jumping, yeah, that's a shark. Did he just not realize it was hooked or something? Look at that. Well, there you go, guys. Little baby lemon shark here. Awesome little catch, about five, six pounds, I'd say. Average size of the guys you've been catching out here. Let's go and get a release in this fish. All right, bud, let's get you back. All right, guys, I think something just picked up our bait here. Got him, oh boy. Yeah, it's pretty big. This is pretty big, guys. What on earth did I hit his hook into? Either he's all wrapped up in seaweed or this is a big shark. Look at that rod then, guys. That is nuts. <sighs> Big fish, guys. Really nice fish. I can see him on the surface. Is that a nurse shark? Guys, this might be a nurse shark. I can't tell. What is this? What do y'all think this is? It's big. Really big. This thing barely put up any fight. Yup, big gummy. No way. We actually caught a nurse shark out here on the flats. No wonder he didn't put up any fight at all. I was like, what is going on? If that was a lemon shark, this thing would be running for miles. Look at that. What's up, bud? Look at that. <laughs> what the hell? Big old nurse shark right here. What a beautiful catch. 
probably say 50, uh, 60 pounds. Awesome fish. Not expecting that out here. I've never heard of anyone catching one out here. But uh, yeah, let's go and get her back. All right, bud. Let's get her back. Well, that was super unexpected. I, I did not think that would actually happen. I saw the rock go down, ran over and grabbed it. And I set the hook and it was just like, it felt really weird. It was oddly big. Um, that was crazy. Um, didn't put it really any fight because of the nurse shark, but still 60 pound fish, biggest fish of the trip so far. That's what that nurse shark just did. As soon as it got to the shore, bent that hook completely out of shape. That is nuts. Five odd circle, just gone. Let's go see what else we can get. All right, what is going on guys? As you can see, this is the following day. I'm out here at a beach right now, uh, and I've seen a lot of fish blowing up. Pretty excited to see what we can do. Let's go see what we can catch. Yeah, out here at a, at a little beach, pretty close to the flood actually that we've been at the last few days. Check this out. We just got another mangrove. This time on a little jerk bait. Just so cool. And there's a big school of them falling the twitch bait too this time. Nuts. These fish on never really at all. Look at that. Beautiful mangrove. We have such a nice fight too in the ultra light. I keep on missing the hook sets too, which is really annoying, but alright, let's we'll get you back, bud. Oh my god, there we go. Got him. What we got here? Grouper, nice little grouper. Cool fish, look at that, it's one of those. Uh... Look at that gorgeous little grouper right there. I saw this one with the other mangroves chasing baits. Finally got him. Beautiful little catch, it's gonna get a release in this fish. Uh, you guys are not gonna believe this. I was just fishing around with a little grouper bait here, and uh, we just hooked up to a barracuda. Went on a big run. Look at that. That is so cool. Take a look at that, guys. Little cooter right there. Look at that, guys. They all so neat. Beautiful little barracuda. I'd say about uh, 16 inch or so. Beautiful fish. Put up a nice fight in the ultralight. A little jerk bait. Beautiful catch. We're going to get a release on this fish. No way. That was nuts. Did you guys see that? Look at the size of the schoolmaster. Whoa. That is a good schoolmaster right there. <laughs> Alright, so at this point, as you guys can see, my GoPro was so waterlogged, the audio did not come out at all. But as you guys can see, we got ourselves probably my PV schoolmaster snapper. Honestly, about 1.5 to 2 pounds. Great fight on the ultra light. So I'm going to release on this couch. Alright, well, what is going on guys? As you guys can see, I'm trying to be really quiet right now because it's 2 a.m. I'm my dorm in college. I've been editing the whole night. Definitely a bit of a jungle of a couple different days while I was fishing in St. John. Um, but yeah, had some amazing catches. Third barracuda I've ever caught, second nurse shark I've ever caught, which is also probably the second biggest fish of my life. Um, and also the PB School Masters are really nice way to finish things off. That being said, really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Super excited to get this video out to you guys. And if you have not already, make sure to hit the red subscribe button and smash the notification bell. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out. Bye -bye.